All right, guys, we have the 29th hired request up today. Tennessee Whiskey, as performed by Dana and Tia, D-A-N-A, Tia is T-E-A-H. Look it up on YouTube. Uh, it's two gals who do a cover of this, and it's really nice. It really reminds me of a Bonnie Raitt style. It's an acoustic piano cover of this. It's very beautiful. Tennessee Whiskey, as performed by Dana and Tia. Let's take a listen to the intro here. Hello everyone, I'm Sean Cheek and welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. We are doing, as I said, Tennessee Whiskey today. All the lessons for this will be on my website, webpianoteacher.com. So we'll do the part one right here, right now. And yes, this is the 29th hard request on the current list. And <clears throat> let's do this. This is what I love about the hard request list is that we get to do stuff that normally people don't you know, get to do. There's a lot of great performances out there by people who aren't famous. <laughs> and this is one of them. It's a very tastefully done piano cover. Lots of neat little things. It's very, not very difficult to play at all, but it's really cool if you want to learn this style. Okay? Little bluesy. Um, let's start with the right hand. E, F sharp, A. One, two, three. E, F sharp, A. We are in a one, two, three, four, five, six beat, a six, eight beat. <clears throat> and if you don't know what that means, that's okay. You just have to know that there's a da, 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 da. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. With an accent on one and four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Kind of a lilting rhythm. So those are our pickup notes. Four, five, six. <clears throat> then we go to our A chord, E, A, C sharp. Left hand will be on an A octave. I just have one A written there, but we're going to do an octave. One, two, three, count four. We'll be E, F sharp, A, C. One, two, three, five. And we'll play that. And then an E, thumb, and then F sharp, B, D. Right after that. I'll use two, four, five. I'm classically trained, so I use weird fingering sometimes. But you can use what you want. Here we go. Four, five, six. One, two. Six. Now the little squiggly line, as I call them, that's just a vamping um, symbol I put there. You just keep it, keep it moving. You mark time until it's time to play the next thing. So the next measure is still an A chord. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. Bum, 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 bum. We'll go E A C sharp. The C sharp has a little hook on it, as you can see up there. So we're going to flip a B up into it like this. B and then the C sharp. That's too hard to do. Just don't even do it. Play the C sharp. But And you have C sharp again with the left hand going to A sharp octaves. So the whole measure is one, two, three. Da, da, da. Right? <clears throat> and... Uh, we're going to B minor now. We've had two A chords for the first two measures. Now one, two, three, four. So D, F sharp, B. Left hand on the B. And you're just going to vamp. See, that squiggly goes for the whole measure. Also part of the next measure. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. So at, at the end of the next measure, F sharp. And then A, B. Kind of faster. When I have the curved line, that means those notes are going to go a little faster than the other ones. So, <clears throat> and then C sharp, uh, left hand octave at the end of that. So let's try that much from the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. See how long I held that B minor? It's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're to the D chord. So the D chord is F sharp A D. 
right hand's on a D octave. You can also put an A in there in the middle if you want. One, two, three. Do, 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 do. And we have what I have always called a country third. Here's a third, but to do a country style, we'll flip an E up into that F sharp. E, F. So E and A with two and five. Go to F sharp on the third finger, E, D. So bra ba bum And then back to E. So one, two, three. Okay. Um, so next measure we'll have A, E, A, left hand E. One, two. So D, do that D with your thumb. And then count four will be F sharp and B together. Flip it up to G sharp. E, F sharp. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So let's do those two measures again, starting with the D. One, two, three. Next um, line there, D, E, A, that's a suspended chord. Because normally it would, it would resolve to C sharp, and I guess it eventually does in the next measure. Left hand on an A. One, two, three, four, five, six. That last deal there is B, E with one and three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're back to our A chord, A, C sharp, B on the right, left hand, A. One, two. Five, six. So a country third. Count five is A and then B D E together. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's try all of it from the very beginning all the way to there. You have to really consciously make sure you don't rush. One, two, three, four. Kind of drag yourself a little bit because the tendency will be to rush and to go faster. Especially with all those um, time, you know, where you're marking time waiting on the rhythm. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 one, two, it starts. So that part two, we will start on the website, and we go through the whole video. There's quite a bit that they do, and we'll teach you the whole thing on webpianoteacher.com. Hope you guys enjoyed the part one. Talk to you later.